my name is Bridget Gompertz and we're here at UCLA in my lab and I'm a physician scientist. So I'm a physician in that I see patients in the hospital um, and I'm also a scientist in that I do research and try and make significant discoveries that will help my patients. So one of the things that frustrates me most when I take care of patients in the hospital, for example, is that many times we don't have any therapies or any cures for diseases. And so what I'm trying to do in my lab is to identify new drugs, new compounds that could cure patients of diseases and potentially also find new tests that could help us diagnose diseases. So we study the lungs and we study how the lungs repair after injury. And we study the stem cells, um, which are cells that are present in the lungs. Um, that are there to help with repair after, for example, a smoking injury um, or uh, maybe an, an injury after infection. Normal airway, um, and then there is some mechanism that causes injury. I love um, being in science and I love doing research because there's always a possibility that you could discover something that is absolutely groundbreaking and that will help people for many generations to come. So as a physician, I help people every day. I help them, you know, and I get rewarded immediately. Uh, for example, if I take care of a child um, who gets better right away. Um, but when I do research in the lab, um, then I have the possibility of not just making one patient better, but millions of patients um, better in the future. So I'm actually from South Africa. I grew up in South Africa, um, and uh, so half a world away. My parents um, are not scientists. Um, my dad um, is a businessman and my mom is a homemaker. Um, so I didn't really have much exposure to science when I was growing up. When I was five years old, um, my grandfather um, was really, really ill. He was a chain smoker and he had terrible lung disease and I can still remember him you know, struggling to breathe on oxygen and he passed away um, when I think was about six years old. And that made a huge impression on me and I've never forgotten it. And um, that's why um, we really you know, work so hard in the lab to try and find cures for diseases like emphysema and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease um, that he suffered from. So um, I think we'll stay in with those and if those look really good, we'll get in like a mature SPC. I love being at the forefront, at the cutting edge of research um, and really trying to break new ground and do things that nobody's ever done before. We, we are doing a number of cool um, different projects. Um, there are about three different main areas of research in the lab. I think one of the coolest and most groundbreaking is that we're actually trying to build new lungs. Um, we're trying to you know, start from the ground up um, with getting the cells into the right anatomical shape um, to make the gas exchanging units so that we can get oxygen into the body and carbon dioxide out of the body. And we've been successful at making um, little lung organoids that have the right anatomical shape uh, with the cells in there. And now we're working on trying to you know, scale that up and get that to be functional. So we use a lot of different kinds of cells. We actually grow them in the lab and um, we are able to isolate the stem cells from lungs and grow those. And then we're also using a new technology that actually just um, in 2012 won um, a Nobel Prize um, for being such a groundbreaking technology. And these are these induced pluripotent stem cells. So these are cells um, that started as adult cells but are transformed back into these very primitive cells that are capable of making any cell type in the body. And so we work with these primitive cells and we're trying to coax them to make lung cells. Um, and um, these are very cool cells because we can use them to try and model lung diseases. And we're also ultimately are gonna try and get them into our lung scaffold, our structures, so that they could one day um, be used to make personalized lungs for people who may need lungs, like a lung transplant. So one of the best things about working in the lab is um, the fact that I get to work with these really smart people and we get to work together as a team. And um, when we sit down and have discussions, we often come up with the coolest ideas that I would never have thought of on my own, but as a group, we kind of feed off of each other and come up with um, new ideas that we can then test in the lab. Um, we've come up with great ideas. For example, how to build lungs came out of an initial discussion um, that we had. So my dream is that we'll develop cures for lung diseases. And right now, we don't really have any cures for lung diseases. We have some supportive measures, like we have inhalers for asthma, for example, and we have steroid 
treatments that, that sometimes people use um, for lung diseases, but we really don't have any cures. And if we can discover a cure um, for a fatal lung disease like emphysema, like my grandfather had, that would just be amazing. That's really what we'd love to do. I would say that um, if you have a passion um, for science, if you really want to make a difference in the world, if you want a career that is always exciting, where there's always new frontiers, um, if you love collaborating with people, um, you know, going off to cool conferences around the world and talking with people and generating new ideas, then this is really a fantastic profession and the possibilities are just endless and you could really do something fantastic for the world.